Video games have become popular in today's world, and in this workshop, participants will learn how to design them. The learning objectives for this workshop are to create a storyboard, understand the steps to creating a game, and understand the basic concepts of design and programming. The supplies needed for this workshop are paper, pencils and pens, computers, and a whiteboard. To complete this workshop, you will simply follow the workshop procedure. There are two stages for this workshop. Stage 1 is the storyboard, and stage 2 is the Flappy Bird game. In stage 1 of the storyboard, students will create their own storyboard for a game that they come up with with their own imagination. Simply hand out the storyboard templates to participants and then explain to them that they will be designing their game by drawing a visual of their game. The basic idea of the storyboard is so that participants can tell the story of their game from beginning to end. For instance, the first picture in the storyboard should be what the participant feels their game will look like in the beginning. And the very last picture should be what the participant feels like the game will look like when it's ending. Allow about 15 to 20 minutes for participants to get through this portion of the workshop and make sure to have a discussion with participants about how they felt during the activity and what they found challenging and highlight with them some of the learning objectives covered. Then we move on to stage two, the Flappy Bird. This activity will introduce students to the process of programming a game design. The procedure for this is to divide students into groups based on how many computers you have. Have each group go to the link for the Flappy Bird game. Watch the video together as a class. After the introductory video, have the groups go through the 10 steps to create the Flappy Bird game. When the groups get to step 10, have one student create their own version of the game and have another student test it. Repeat those steps until all the students are able to create their own game. Be sure to have a discussion after this portion of the workshop as well. And find out what participants found challenging and highlight with them some of the learning objectives covered through this stage as well. Once the workshop is complete, use this time to discuss the stages with the participants and pull together the learning objectives, making sure that each participant understands the concepts learned in each stage. Discuss how they might use the step-based process in other parts of their life. Some of the questions you may want to ask are, now that you have seen some game design, would you make any changes to your storyboard? Or what was the most difficult part of the exercise? Or maybe what was your favorite part of the exercise? This workshop will give participants the foundational principles of creating a video game. This should be a fun exercise for both the facilitator and the participants.